Welcome back, Gamecock fans. Sports doesn't just happen here in the Palmetto State. Here's what's going on around the country. On Saturday night, the Charlotte Hornets got a well-needed boost when point guard LaMelo Ball made his season debut. The 2020 Rookie of the Year had suffered a left ankle sprain during the preseason, and without him, the Hornets have struggled. While the Hornets were not able to win his season debut, falling to the Miami Heat 132-115. to The losing streak ended at 8 last night with a win against the Orlando Magic. In his first two games back, LaMelo was averaging 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 7.5 and assists. As of today, the Hornets are 4-11 and 11 and still near the bottom of the Eastern Conference. In April in Los Angeles. And I mean, I feel like we're constantly talking about this women's basketball team. They're just, they're so impressive. Absolutely. Just the fact that three players might be considered for the highest honor in the country really tells you how good Don Staley has built this team. Yeah. This weekend. What do you have for us, Connor? This coming Sunday at 6 p.m., you can witness a beautiful sight at the Carolina State House. This event will herald the official start of the Yuletide season with the lighting of the state's Christmas tree. There will also be performances from artists across South Carolina, the governor's seasonal message, and more. Now, I love celebrating Christmas, I really do, but it's not Thanksgiving yet, and I don't think I'll ever fully support celebrating Christmas until after Thanksgiving. I understand. I have many a friend who blasted the Christmas music at midnight on November 1st. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> me too. Cincinnati went up big early, taking a massive 35-0 lead into halftime. Carolina quarterback P.J. Walker was replaced by former starter Baker Mayfield after only completing three of his first ten passes for nine yards and two interceptions. Mayfield would throw two touchdowns in relief, but averaged less than eight yards per pass. Bengals running back Joe Mixon had a career day with over 200 yards from scrimmage and five total touchdowns four on the ground, and one through the air. In terms of fantasy production, it was one of the best of the entire year by a running back. If getting up early on a Saturday to watch some soccer is up for you, be sure to tune in at 10 a.m. to cheer on the USA as they take on the Netherlands. That's the final Pro Sports Rundown for this semester. Coming up after the break, Colleen Schultes will bring you more Carolina sports news. One last time, I'm Connor Fisher, and we'll be right back.